Hey there, and welcome to Ontario Math, and today we will be doing uh, some prime factorization using a factor tree. So factor trees help us find prime factors, and I'll, and I'll show you how. Um, there's a bit of writing in here just to kind of talk about my strategies and, and everything, so you might want to pause it and, and read it over, because I might not be able to read everything as I, as I show you today, but... Um, if you need to rewatch it or and pause it, then then please do so. I started at the top here just because you might not uh, remember or, or know what a prime number is, so I'm just reviewing the idea because it's important to know uh, when you have to find prime factors. So a prime number can be divided evenly only by one or itself, and it must be a whole number greater than one. So it has to be bigger than one. The lowest numbers, examples of prime numbers, are 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11, because they can't be divided by anything else other than 1 and themselves. So they're all prime numbers, and the other numbers are called composite numbers. For example, 4, right after 3 here, it's not a prime number because 4 can be divided by 2. So it can't be a prime number, because it can be divided by something other than 1 in itself. So when we get to prime factorization, prime factorization is finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. So it's like finding the factors of a number, but you only want to find the prime numbers of the factors. So uh, the strategies right down here, okay, I'm just going to be using those. You can read those and understand it, and I'm just going to get into the examples and the questions actually. So question, if I have a question that says find the prime factors for 12. Well, the factor tree, I write the original number at the top, so that would be 12. And then I use branches, like a tree. That's why it's called a factor tree. And in these branches, I'm going to write down which two numbers multiply to give 12. So the first ones that come to that, in my mind, is, is 6 times 2. Okay. And I'm noticing that, well, 2, we just said, is, is one of the prime numbers, so that's great. But this number isn't a prime number. This is a composite number. It can be divided by uh, two things. So two things can multiply to make 6, and that would be 3 times 2. So I just continue my branches. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, and we're up at the top again. And I look at these two numbers, and I'm like going, uh... Is 3 a prime number? Well, yeah, it actually it is. 3 is one of the smaller ones, too, and 2 is. So once I find these out, I've actually prime factorized uh, 12. So my answer is, the answer is uh, 12 equals uh, 3 times 2 times 2. And I mentioned that you can express it using exponents, so um, I don't have a full lesson on this, but I could also say 12 equals... 3 times 2 squared, because 2 times 2 is 2 squared. Let's get over here. I'm going to find the prime factors for 32. I'm going to express my answer using exponents, which I actually did over here. I went a step further already. So I start off the same thing. I start off with the number at the top, 32, and I branch off. And what comes to my mind is 8 times 4. Now, it doesn't have to be 8 times 4. You could have chosen another two numbers, like 16 times 2, but um, it, it'll still work the same way, but I just thought of 8 times 4. Um, but it will work, even if you start off with two different numbers. Uh, this is definitely a composite number. 4 times 2 equals 8. Um, this is a composite number, so I can branch off there. 2 times 2. Well, 2 is a prime number. 2 is a prime number. 2 is a prime number, but 4 still is a composite number. So I'm going to go again, 2 times 2. And now I'm down to a bunch of 2's actually, and they're all my prime numbers. So I can say that 32 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or easier actually, I can s express it as 2 to the power of, to the exponent of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So not 25, but 2 to the exponent of 5. So there's a quick lesson. Uh, I hope it helps, and give it another watch uh, if you want to read through the strategies and get through it and fully understand it. And thanks for watching.